You're not going to let down. You have to be up. Oh. Okay. Okay. College. Welcome to the Swinger Verse, where you get to taste the lifestyle. We are the Upside Down Pineapples, and your hosts, Phil N. And Kim. You're listening to the Upside Down Pineapple Podcast. The Upside Down Pineapple is all about the lifestyle, educating, encouraging, and enhancing the entire lifestyle experience, not just the hookup. Well, after our successful Zoom Saturday night, we are back. And hey, Jazz. Hey, Bo. Hey, hey, hey. college over on Zoom. We are back with a busy week. Busy week. Busy week. Yeah. We uh, have a lot going on again. This past Saturday night, to give everybody a recap, we had the WYLD Glow Party. It was a blast. Virtual party. We had almost 80 people. Yeah. It was great. a crazy showing. Um, games, prizes, twerking. Twerking. And more. Yeah. Um, we had a lot going on. Absolutely. We are coming to you live tonight from the Upside Down Pineapple Bar. We feel right at home. Because we are. Because we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are social distancing ourselves, unfortunately. And, and we hate it. 
Yeah. If anybody some, was wondering, we hate it. Some people really, really hate it. Really, really hate really it. Really hate it. <laughs> um, but we have a great podcast and a great conversation topic for everybody um, tonight. But in the meantime, go check out the website at the Upside Down Pineapple dot. Click on all of our friends. Click on the Cassidy link. Get a free 90-day membership. Everybody loves free. Click on the Shimmers link. Oh, my gosh. Shimmers has so many specials going on, guys. They've got buy one, get one half price. Their new blush line for April's birthday month is buy one, get one free. If y'all have not been there. I it was buy one, get one half off. No. Please pay attention to the special sales and Shimmers. Thought it was buy one get one half off. No, no, no. I avoid those. You have that. Covered. I do not. You have that covered. Yes. So, yeah. So click on all the links. Click on Alexi link. Click on Club Giggity's link. Everybody's gonna have tons of stuff as soon as we can all stop social distancing. Um, clubs are starting to. Hey, what's up, Dom? Clubs are Dom. Dom's. Dom's. Dom's on. So clubs are starting to post potential return opening dates. Yes. Let's hope that those return opening dates are a possibility. Absolutely. Uh, until the meantime, we will continue the Zoom parties on the weekends. They are getting crazy responses. Um, this weekend, we have two. Two. Two this weekend. Two. Friday night and Saturday night. Friday night, we kick off with the Pour Some Sugar on Me 80s Rock and Roll theme party. Which should be fun. Uh, we, have a, have to... we have a band, prizes, more, whole bunch of stuff planned for Friday night. Yeah. And then lots Saturday, of new guests. lots of new guests. Yeah. Saturday, buy one, get one free. Oh, it yeah. was just vouched for all other items. Buy one, get one half off. I got this. For the month of April. I got this. Toys last until Saturday night with blush. That's right. <laughs> I, I don't know why I didn't trust her. Uh, um, me neither. But she knows Stop her. her she knows her shimmers. So we're kicking it off with pour some sugar on me '80s rock and roll theme party, which will be a blast starting at eight o'clock Saturday night. Yeah. Shimmers is in the house. Shimmers is in the house. Saturday night starting at eight o'clock. Shimmers virtual party. Shimmers boutique virtual party. I heard shimmers are TikTok stars now. Ah, uh, they just uh, a little, just a little bird told me. They, uh, yeah, they possibly are. I heard it. I've seen a few tic, TikTok uh, yeah. videos. So yes, I believe they are. But Saturday night shimmers will be in the house. So we're gonna start the weekend with some pour some sugar on me, and Saturday we're gonna close it out with shimmers. Nice. We're gonna. Give everybody Sunday to relax. Hello, weekend. It's going to be another virtual fun weekend. It's Easter. Relax. Sunday is Easter. Yes. Relax. Enjoy it. Um, hang out with loved ones. the loved ones that you can be around right now. Yeah. I don't know how we haven't gotten stopped and people and the cops think that we have a party with the amount of people who live in this house. But we have not been stopped by the cops. How many people are coming here for Easter? Just a couple. Oh, okay. Well, it's all family. They can't really stop us. Absolutely. So. Unfortunately, there's more than 10 people in our family, so the immediate family. Well, you know, it's okay. So, yes, this weekend we're rocking two Zoom parties, Saturday night and uh, Friday night and Saturday, both starting at 8 o'clock. We want to thank WILD for last weekend's virtual glow party with close to 80 people rocking it on Zoom. Yeah. It was a blast. It was a blast. It was, it was fun. Um, yeah, we're going to try to top it this weekend. I'm not sure if we can or not, but... I have a feeling that both pour some sugar on me and shimmers have something up their sleeves that oh, show us your bunny outfit wins shimmer special Saturday night. Oh. In addition to the gift certificates and sponsored by blush. Holy hell. Yes. Yeah, so we have some stuff planned. I'm sure obviously shimmers have got some shit up their sleeve already. Nice. So I believe I have a bunny outfit and if I don't shimmers probably has one for me. Um, you do. I believe you have bunny ears, too. I do have bunny ears. That light up. They light up. You could have worn them for the glow party last weekend. Yeah. Nope. I'm saving them for shimmers. So, so yeah. So, make sure you're checking us out this weekend. Make sure, in the meantime, you go and check out the website at theupsidedownpineapple.net. Click on all of our friends. Cassidy, get a free 90-day membership. Everybody loves free. Click on the shimmers link. Oh, my gosh. So much, so much, so much, so much, so much. Just click on the shimmers link. 
So we have three, well, we had said last Saturday night, we have tonight, and we yeah. have two this weekend. Um, that's a lot of social distancing going on. You know, I need this in my life. I know better than anybody else, but it has extremely helped to be able to see our friends like this. We saw some. The last two zoo parties, we yes, saw a yes. lot of people. We saw a lot of our friends. We saw a lot of our, of, of, literally, of literally a lot of our <laughs> literally friends. Literally a lot of our friends. Yeah, uh, literally. Yay. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny how the... Uh, These parties are awesome. How the people, not all the people are the same. We had a lot of new people this Saturday. We did. That was pretty cool. How the people change. They're either there like two two weeks ago. Yeah. There's 10 people having sex on Zoom. No doubt. Last week we had two. They were there to play games and have and play and play absolutely and talk last weekend the weekend before that they were there to show off and they and did they showed off yes they did yeah but so you never know what a zoom party is going to bring yeah um, that means you have to come and find out yeah it's yeah. completely different from weekend to weekend the people are amazing but and it's a blast it's an absolute great time it gives you that touch of lifestyle right now that we're all missing. craving and yeah. missing so make sure you jump on. And again, thanks to Doug at WYLD for last weekend's glow party. You guys rocked it, even though his internet was giving him some issues. He was struggling. We got <laughs> was, you, Doug. We got you. We got you. But yeah, thank you. Great work getting the word out there and yeah. getting almost 80 people there. So we'll see how much we can rock this weekend. I have a feeling that Saturday night, Saturday night is be awesome. probably going to be close to 100. Yeah. I have a feeling that it's going to be close to 100. We're going to bring out the big screen TV because we That's need what it. I hear. We need it. <laughs> That's what I hear. We need it to follow. It, it, yes. Yeah. So we will see everybody this weekend. But what I wanted to do tonight is actually start to – Zoom parties are fun. gives everybody their lifestyle interaction. But we want to stick to what we are and start to get back into the conversations again. Yeah. We had a fun conversation last week about the lifestyle, which you can find the podcast is from last week is now published. You can find it on the website at the upside down pineapple. So you can listen to last week's podcast, which was myths about the lifestyle on the website. As of today, um, I tend to post the weeks before when the week comes up, gives everybody a chance to kind of catch up on the old stuff and things like that. So I wanted to get into the conversations a little bit tonight. And we've touched a lot, a lot, a lot on dynamics in the lifestyle. Yeah. We've kind of covered them in general. It's a good subject. They're important to know. There's a lot of different dynamics out there. And again, just because one, two couples, two individuals, they may classify themselves as the same dynamic, but they have different roles. So these are just kind of general guidelines. guidelines, general things to know about those dynamics. Just so you have an Basics. idea going in, each couple is going to be different with their rules and things like that. But when you meet somebody in a club or in a party and they tell you, hey, we're this dynamic, you have an idea of what they're talking about. Yeah, got a starting point. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So with that being said, just give me a second here. I'm multitasking again tonight, running Zoom, running the podcast, running the controls. We got it covered in. We're actually running pretty smooth this right now. Nice. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. So you are a guru. I am a guru. Yeah. And uh but it's nice to have people yes it is. <laughs> help out so i'm not what's up jay, hey, jay. i think that's jay <laughs> college has the glasses jay has the jellyfish yes yes it's jay well it does say jay too it says jay hill so hey jay so tonight's conversation lifestyle dynamics we're going to dive into over the next couple weeks different dynamics in the lifestyle, more in depth. So I was doing some research today as to which dynamic we were gonna start with. And something struck me that I read. 
So do you know that the most Google dynamic, both in Google and in porn, is hot wife cockled porn? So I, I know it's, <laughs> it's literally the most Google dynamic in the lifestyle. I feel it's the most misunderstood. So, it is. Yeah. So uh, it does make some sense. Um, it actually makes a lot of sense because a lot of our friends have to Google it after they talk to us. Yes. So <laughs> And before they talk to us. <laughs> correct. And before they talk to us. <laughs> and after talking to us more. <laughs> and then they say, fuck. Okay. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So I figured there's probably no better place to start um, since we're social distancing. For the dynamics that we get into on the road, we will have couples either calling in or depending on social distancing guidelines with us to talk more into those specific dynamics. So kind of worked out that that was one of the most searched dynamics in the lifestyle, according to Google. So it's one that we can talk about for hours. So yeah. I figured, why the fuck not? Let's uh, make this easy tonight and let's start there. Let's start with the hot wife. Okay, so the hot wife dynamic. However, the hot wife dynamic has about three dynamics underneath that one. So we obviously fall into this dynamic. Are we paying attention here? I am paying are we, attention now. Are we talking on our phone? No, they were messaging and saying that they could come in. That they, the podcast. That they what? They thought they had needed an invitation. Oh. Where is it? The invitation? Yeah. They can the go in. Is it in Facebook? So it's on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so we fall into this category. Um, a lot of people fall into this category. A lot of people that don't know that they fall under this category fall under this category. Yeah. There's so much into this category that I know I wanted to keep tonight relatively short, but this could go on for hours. So uh, the post, the, the link is also posted on Shimmers. Facebook and Cassidy. The Zoom link is also posted on the Upside Down Pineapple Facebook uh, page as well. So you can get the Zoom link on there as well. So hot wife dynamic, a lot falls underneath this. You have your stag vixen couples, you have your cuckold couples, and you have your straight up hot wife couples. They all are completely different. Completely different. <laughs> completely different. And knowing the difference is very important because you can kind of ruin your chances very quickly if you don't know <laughs> what so. the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Um, or if you don't pay attention to what they right. tell you, what the couple tells you. Yeah. So we get asked to explain our dynamic a million times over and over and over and over and over again. Now, we have our own rules. We have our own additions, subtractions, everything like that with the dynamic itself. But we are a stag vixen couple. <clears throat> we are not a caco couple. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I think the easiest way to do this is to kind of explain the differences first. Um, and then we can get into different aspects of the actual dynamic itself and what kind of goes into it. So if you're looking at a difference between a stag, if somebody comes up to you and says they're a stag compared to a cuckold, there's a main difference. Your main difference is a submissive male versus a dominant male. A stag is most likely going to be a dominant male. Cuckold is most likely going to be a submissive male. So you understand that. You understand that with a stag, if you think you're going into it with the wife and you're going to incorporate humiliation into the play, you're wrong. And you Fair. just fucked up your chances. With both. With both. Yeah. If you go into it with a cuckold couple, you're actually in more. So... Knowing the difference is very, very important yeah. in this dynamic because just because somebody says they're a hot wife, there's different aspects to 
the hot wifing itself. Yeah. So that's going to be your main, one of the main things to know is they're both going to be there and willing to watch their female half play with another person. They like to be teased by their significant other. Here's another big difference. Most of the time, again, these are just general kind of overviews. Sometimes it's a little different depending on the couple, but most of the time, a stag will join in and play with the, his wife or his partner with another guy. A cuckold won't. So another big difference, if you think you're only going to play with the wife and you're with a stag, you might be wrong. They might be there to join in as well. So it's another thing that you want to know the differences between. Both will listen to their other half tell them about their play times. So there's not really anything there. The main one, again, the humiliation aspect. You're not going to bring in the humiliation play with a stag comparably to a cuckold. So kind of overview again, they're both going to want to watch. A stag will join in, a cuckold won't. They both like to be teased. They like, both like to be heard, uh, hear about their significant other's playtime. So I just wanted to break it down before we kind of got more into specifics on it. Just because if somebody tells you that and you go in and you think one thing, you're going to ruin your chances and you're going to either one, show that you don't know, even though you say you know, mm -hmm. or you're going to probably end the play in the middle of the play. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So you don't want to do that to anybody involved. Again, it comes back to that respect. If you don't know, just ask. It's real simple. And, uh, and either of the couple is going to tell you. They're going to want you to know for everybody's sake all the way around. They all get grouped into the same category, but they're all so much different. And trust me, we get asked about this a million times. The Google people that tell us they have Googled it and looked it up and it's hilarious. It's yeah. like, okay, you could have asked. Yeah. Like if you didn't know, just ask. There's no there's wrong. There's no stupid questions. No stupid there's questions. no stupid questions. So if you don't know something, just ask. If you don't know something and you can't figure it out, just send us an email. Yeah. We'll get to our email listener questions later. Yay. Because we have two more for later on tonight. I but love those. That's after our conversation. So in the meantime, make sure you go check out the website at the Upside Down Pineapple. .net. Click on all of our partners. Cassidy, get a free 90-day membership. Everybody loves free. Shimmers. Shimmers. We've got buy one, get one free toys, blush line until Saturday. We have buy one, get one half price for the birthday girl, the month of the birthday girl. And we always have mentioned the podcast and get 10% off. So Kim got a little distracted by Zoom there. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> only, only that could distract you from talking about shimmers. Uh, yes. <laughs> so rude. So the stag vixing term is relatively new, which is one of the reasons that it's not known as much comparably in the lifestyle, comparably to full soft swap, soft swap, things like that. Yeah. So it's one of the reasons it's confusing is it's not straightforward like the other ones. But again, not everything is straightforward because everybody has their own specific rules and guidelines yeah. and play, play preferences. So again, just these are kind of general knowledge information the basics <clears throat> again each yeah. couple is different so this lifestyle uh, this dynamic brings in for those that are not part of this dynamic there is crossover to other dynamics in the lifestyle from multiple different directions you bring in watching you bring in the multiple partners you bring in the freedom to play you bring Hi, in the, Jess and Jess. you bring in the communication you bring in the confidence, the freedom, the showing off, the trust, the pleasure. You bring in so much of everything all at once that 
this dynamic can get a little Yeah. One of the main things about this dynamic, just like every other dynamic, is the communication between the two partners. Absolutely. If that communication is not there, none of it's going to work. No. It doesn't matter what, For anybody. what dynamic you are. No. For it's anybody. not going to be there. No. <clears throat> so, again, we're jumping into specific dynamics in the lifestyle. We're starting this over the next couple of weeks as we get into and break down just some general knowledge information about different dynamics in the lifestyle. Tonight we have the Hot Wife Lifestyle, and you're currently listening to the Upside Down Pineapple Podcast. The Upside Down Pineapple is all about the lifestyle, educating, encouraging, and enhancing the entire lifestyle experience, not just the hookup. Mm-hmm. Website is the Upside Down Pineapple. That That's where you're waiting for it I first was, time. And so I, much. I know. Like I said, this dynamic brings into a whole lot of different things. Yeah. Um, so a couple of the things that I wanted to talk to you on, we'll kind of go down them. Again, these are kind of coming from a personal aspect because we know this dynamic. Right. So. And we would love if people actually learn this dynamic <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it would save me a little, a lot of conversations. Really? Yeah, a lot of forehead rubbing, a lot of, yeah. <laughs> it would it would save me. It would. <clears throat> it would save me a lot. But yeah. we do have some twists. So we do. It, yeah, so again, every couple is different. So there's a couple of things that we wanted to touch on were in this one. I'm just going to read down the list and we'll kind of go back to it. The freedom, the trust, the conversations, the options for both partners, the confidence building showing off the turn on and the reclaim. reclaim. <laughs> <laughs> now we're interested in talking about this. Now we want to talk. <laughs> or, or we want to end the conversation. We want to reclaim. We wanna, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we want to end the podcast now and just kind of move on to Saturday night. Is that what we want to do? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> right, so there's a reason that was last. <laughs> and first, and last. <laughs> so the freedom... So let's start with the conversation. The conversation is so important. Yeah. The conversation from just kind of messing around when the topic came up. So when the topic came up in one of our first conversations of, I, I like to watch, you were trying to figure out what kind of movie I wanted to watch. I said, what's what? <laughs> or what sport I wanted to watch. You were trying to figure that out. Yeah, we had already X'd out basketball. So where were we going yeah, with this? So, <laughs> I said, no, it's not what I like to watch. Uh, well, I did like to watch basketball. He did. And then I haven't seen a that work out? March Madness tournament. It's, I mean, it got so bad that they actually now cancel the March Madness tournament, so I can't watch it. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Uh, I, yep. yeah. <laughs> I used to take a vacation before work and, and, and actually social distance myself for a week to watch basketball and only watch basketball. Oh. And here I am social distancing myself and I can't watch any basketball. Absolutely not. Not at all. <laughs> so welcome to our relationship. That's kind of where my life has gone from. Yep. Yep. Yes, Jay, the social distancing sucks. Sucks, Jay Hill. Sucks. So the conversation. We started the conversation with I like to watch. And we kind of broke it down to what I like to watch and kind of filled you in and told you if you don't have an open mind enough to even have a conversation about it. There's the door. They were my exact words. Here I am. And here we are How'd that work on out? a podcast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so the conversations are so important. The conversation, well, the conversation in a couple of different ways can do a few different things. One, obviously you need to have these conversations to figure out your rules, your likes, your dislikes to figure out, if it even fits because a lot of people this dynamic doesn't work no it's not going to work there's no way in hell it would work Mm -mm. because they personally can't do it they may be able to full swap Mm -hmm. they may be able to soft swap right but they can't do this dynamic this dynamic is not that that's not the thing right and this is why the lifestyle is amazing because you there's so many different people and so many different dynamics that make up the lifestyle. So the conversations are so important from the beginning to one, bring up the topic, two, figure out likes and dislikes, 
Two, they lead to really good sex. Really good sex. <laughs> so the conversations, just like with everything else, is so important. The trust factor, one, has to be there. Huge. It, yeah, it doesn't work at all without it. No. When you're playing together, there's a certain, there's a level of trust that's involved. When there's this dynamic, a whole nother, a level. Whole nother level of whole trust, level. a whole different dynamic of trust that needs to be involved. Yeah. And some people get, can't get past that to begin with. So, yeah. again, which is okay. Which is fine. That's, That's why there's the full swap couples, soft swap couples, right. hot wife couples. There's voyeurs, there's ex exhibitionists, there's everything. Yeah. And this one kind of brings into most of the other dynamics in the lifestyle. Yeah. Every one you of them. You do have a little piece of most Yes, you things. have a piece of most of them in that aspect. So the trust is huge um, on both ends. One that, one, I trust you enough that you can do it and have the freedom to do it. Right. Two, you trust me enough to know that if you do do something, it's you're not, okay. it, that it's okay and it's not going to come back at a later date right. with a problem. Yeah. So the trust works on both different levels. Right. <clears throat> the this one kind of goes hand in hand with you'll notice people in the hot wife dynamic, the wives will tend to show off more than other dynamics. <laughs> He's watching. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. He's trying to watch. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> he really sees you through Zoom right now. So <laughs> you'll notice in the hot wife lifestyle that the female will tend to dress no matter where she's going, showing off more than your normal female would. Yes, absolutely. Uh, are, are we going to answer here? It's, yeah, that but that's the best thing. Like because <laughs> we want to, we want to make you proud. We want to that show off factor, the self confidence of it, of being able to wear what you want to wear and know that your partner not only loves it but encourages it. Yeah, it's awesome. Which is why you love shimmer so much. Love shimmer. <laughs> oh Jesus, yeah. Just gonna throw that in there. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you really have to question your wardrobe on, oh, do I have things to really go in public that's not lifestyle involved? <laughs> not so much, whatever. <laughs> you make it work. I make it work. You make it work. Yes, Jazz. And you want to feel sexy all the time. Absolutely. Raz, Jazz, whatever your name is right now. Correct. She's been Absolutely. day drinking. She is oh, Jazz. Jesus, gosh. <laughs> day drinking already? On a, yep. It's a Wednesday. I know. She misses me. Normally, we don't start drinking on a Wednesday till 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah, it's past 8 o'clock, though. Past 8 o'clock. I pay attention. That one, not so much. She's day drinking it. And it's... Whew. Good luck. Good luck with that. Um, yeah. But it's you, a sexy feeling. Yes. It is a sexy feeling. And it's nice to have the attention, but not because, oh, hey, I'm looking for attention. It's a totally different thing. Right. Yeah. And you brought up the proud factor, which yeah. goes into... The male side of, okay, go ahead. Yes, you can dress like that. Mm -hmm. And, and encourages, encourages it. it. Yeah. Because they are proud of the female that they're with. Mm -hmm. So they want them to show off. Yeah. So that kind of covers a lot of the day-to-day -day activities, mm -hmm. um, non-lifestyle related. Right. So. Yeah, because that's not only to clubs and things. That's just going out. Right, you go to the food store. Yeah, that's to go to the, <laughs> yeah, that's to go to the food store. That's to go to a repair place for your car. That's to go anywhere, you know, just knowing that this is a turn on, you know, for your partner, how you're dressing, what you look like, who pays attention to you. You know, and that's huge for us. That's a big part of our conversations. It's we basically live this dynamic. We do twenty four seven. Yeah, we do. It's not. I mean, we're not just living it when we can go to a club, right? When we can go to an and, event, and, and that's like a that. big difference for other couples in our <clears throat> dynamic as well. They, you know, do this when they go to clubs or on getaway weekends. You know, this is our dynamic. Not that 
on a play end because that's that's different but the dynamic itself never changes for us right and it's lived day to day right basically it's not there is no real break in the dynamic from yeah. weekend to weekend or event to event there's or something really like needed that. for us though right. well, for our dynamic anyway our dynamic in our life right and so life. yeah we can do it a lot more frequently than somebody with a five and a six year old kid oh absolutely so <laughs> yeah absolutely we have a lot more freedom so for us it is it is a lot easier right so it's a big key with this dynamic is it is a 20 it can be for people in this dynamic a full basically i don't want to say full time but it's a 24 7 that's how they live it yeah. there's no Absolutely. break like okay i need my lifestyle time right we have our lifestyle time and it might be on a tuesday at two o'clock in the afternoon right. when you're going to the store right so it kind of because that's a, a key factor in our <clears throat> lifestyle time though correct that might to somebody else mean nothing Right, but with our dynamic, it brings yeah. that in. So mm -hmm. it's completely, that I think is key and more so a part of this dynamic than any other dynamic out there. Absolutely. The factor of you're doing it for yourself to feel good, look sexy, for the attention, even though you don't need the attention, but it also brings on the turn on yeah. on the male end. So it kind of works hand in hand and benefits both partners at the same time. Yeah, oh, definitely. But not everybody can do it all the time. So when you have the time to do it, you can do it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but in this dynamic, those little things work hand in hand to add a little piece of the lifestyle to each partner at the same time. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a different, you're wearing something sexy to the food store, right. you're feeling good about yourself, your confidence is high, you might get attention even though you don't seek the attention. Mm -hmm. And at the same time on the back end, it's turning the guy on. Right. So it one thing leads to another and- And then, it's a proud aspect on both ends though, not just correct. the guys. Huge. It's definitely on both partners for that. Which then leads to sex at night. Very, very, very good sex at night. <laughs> so it's all a complete kind of circle with it. I love um, that circle. But if you find that you do meet somebody in the club and you're talking to them and she's a hot wife, make sure you figure it out. Because, again, we're the stag vixen couple. You might run into... The Conco couple, because mm -hmm. they're a lot out there. Where yeah, there is. You might run into that person at the food store, and you're talking to them, and they don't have a freaking clue, because probably one, they're probably not in the lifestyle. Right. So they think, okay, the questions that you should ask are, what kind of them? You have to you have to get into this dynamic more so than you do other couples. Right. So. They well, because you. a lot of people that aren't in the lifestyle, they judge this as, oh, she's cheating on her husband. She's oh. cheating on her significant other. He's cheating on his wife, you know, because they don't realize and don't know. So that's a problem that we run into. Okay, I'll get to that one in a couple of minutes here. So with the cuckold couple, they're bringing in the humiliation aspect. And most of the time, it involves a couple different, again, aspects of the play partner being larger than the actual husband. It also brings in that the, the play partner pleasures the female more than the cockle does himself. Mm -hmm. And his inadequacies as a cuckold. So you bring in those aspects. Now that all adds up to a huge turn on for that couple. Right. Whereas with us, you're done. You, you just get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Gone. You don't okay. have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Jay, okay, so Jay asked, how do you know you're a quote unquote hot wife if you're a couple? Is it habits, experiences, or likes? How do we know? I think in general. Um, it's going to really depend on the couple itself. Yeah. Um, one, again, it brings back parts of the lifestyle from other dynamics. Mm -hmm. So I like to watch, so it brings in the voyeur aspect. And it brings in the play It aspect. brings in the play aspect, and it also brings in an exhibitionist side for the female of putting on a show for her husband. <laughs> so, why are you looking over that way? <laughs> Zoom are watching you. Yeah, I know. There were on the podcast. Zoom's just an addition to the podcast tonight. So, so it, it kind of comes down to, I don't want to say more so the male, but in our case, yeah, I would much rather watch and participate with you and one other person than one play by myself or two play with a couple. Right. Now we have certain extras. Right. Sometimes. Um, rarely. When there's a blue full crescent moon. <laughs> But we do have guidelines and rules in place. We do. We <laughs> that do. we do have. This conversation. Right. Because of conversations yeah, that we've had. Absolutely. So it all comes down to the conversations that you do have of, okay, if I wanted to participate all the time, we weren't going to have this conversation right. because it wasn't going to work for us. No. <laughs> if I wanted this, the, this dynamic would not have worked for us, right. but the, my ultimate pleasure is your pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a key to this dynamic. Yeah. Whereas that turns me on like crazy is mm -hmm. your pleasure. But at the same time, it's just not sexual pleasure with that. No, not at all. It's, your happiness, your smile, everything like that, yeah. all tied into one. Now, yes, granted, sexual pleasure is part of it. Oh, absolutely. But when that aspect comes into it for the male, mm -hmm. then this dynamic comes into play. Right. So then that, you can start to have those conversations about possibly this, this dynamic in the lifestyle. If that's not there, this dynamic's that conversation is going to go nowhere because right. it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, the, on the female end, you, one has to be okay with your partner not wanting to play. Right. Trusting your partner enough that it's okay for you to play without them playing. And that's, and that's a big part for the female to learn. That, right. I know for us, you know, that was a big challenge for me to know that, okay, this is okay. Even though you reinforce it, that's still for the female. That's a, a growing thing and a learning thing and a conversation over and over that, that we have. And then, I mean, if the male half gets turned on by the humiliation and then right. the cuckold conversation comes into play. Right. So, again, there can be some crossover into this dynamic, too, from a full swap couple. Right. So, it's not just specifically... Like if you're, if you're a stag vixen couple, you're only a stag vixen couple. Right. It's not true. Right. Now we, they will clarify themselves as a stag vixen couple, but mm -hmm. they may have other rules as well. Right. Somebody may clarify them or qualify themselves as a full swap couple. Right. But occasionally they dip their toes into the hot wife situation. Right. So again, depends on the different couples. Right. Um, Jay has another question. How long did it take you to okay with doing things on your own and not feel like Phil would some way or would, would feel some hold on, way. Jay, you need a proofreader or I need a, somebody to read this. Um, Kim, how long did it take you to be okay with doing things on your own and not <laughs> feeling like Phil would feel some way or would feel some way, question mark? Well, yeah. there's two answers to that question. <laughs> I have known for a while that it was okay. Um, 
we had a lot of conversations, um, a lot of conversations. And we actually still have these conversations, but not because he has not reinforced it. And I totally know that if and when I decide to go out and play by myself, that it's totally okay. It was more me, you know, that hesitated to do it. And that's more because of people that we've met and their expectations. A lot of people don't understand our dynamic. And, you know, we have a lot of friends that are couples. So the first thing that they assume is that our dynamic is not really our dynamic. So that runs into a problem with us. But that's why, you know, we're a couple that's always open to the single male, which is not as easy as you would think that everyone does think so. But as far as how long did it take me? A good year, easily a good year. Probably longer than that. Yeah, but easily, easily a good year. Um, I just started even just going to hang out by myself to have a drink. Um, with friends and and we've been in the lifestyle now for a while, but that was more because of my self-confidences than thinking that he would have a problem with it. He encourages it. Um, he encourages me to know that whatever I do is okay, that I never have to look over my shoulder. So, I mean, we have an amazing relationship as far as for the stag, you know, the stag vixen. Um, it's just both of the couples have to really always, always, always keep that line of communication open for both ends. But yeah, it, it did take me a while, but it, it was on my end, not his. And it, But it, at the same time, it's always, like I say, move at the pace of the slowest part. Yeah, and so you do. It's a, you might, it might be on your end, but at the same time, it's the, we moved at that pace. Yeah, oh, you never, ever push. No. Never and, rush, never push. And we didn't jump right in either. No. We, oh, God, no. We did small things first yeah. and then kind of moved up to. Oh, yeah. You Absolutely. Our, our, first time, our first time at TPA even was just last year. We've been going to TPA about a year and a half, maybe two years. Two years. Now. Two years. Two years a little now. over two years. Yeah. So, yeah, we definitely moved at, at my pace, and which was good. You know, because that lets us grow. Well, that lets me grow and you not grow ahead of me, mm -hmm. you know. So for uh, especially a submissive hot wife, that's that's very important. Ed, we live. So it's actually pretty funny because we live the dynamic pretty much 24 seven. Yeah. Except when we have events, then we don't live the dynamic. Yeah. Because. We're not there to play at all. No. We're there as the hosts or doing the podcast or things like that. Mm -hmm. So actually lifestyle events are the time that we least are in our dynamic. But that we enjoy the lifestyle the most. Correct. Yeah. Um, so it's actually, I mean, completely reversed. Yeah. Hey, Doug, what's going on? Hey, Doug. <clears throat> um, but at the same time, when we go and sneak away by ourselves, we are in full, full, full fledged dynamic. Absolutely. So and we just go away, go and don't tell anybody. And not that we don't show up and people we know have to be there, <laughs> but Always. that's not the point. Yeah, that's um, not the point. We And we don't care. No, we don't care. It's just nice not to have a plan. Right. Just to go. So if you see it just us, we're in full dynamic mode. Uh, yeah. If we're at an event, we are not in dynamic mode. No. <laughs> we are in host and podcast mode. Yeah. Basically is what it comes down to. So back to the different aspects of the hot wife lifestyle. The for a stag, the sexual gratification seeing that on their partner is a crazy, crazy, crazy turn on. So that's where the, the play partners come in, which is why single guys are welcomed. Right. Couples are welcomed as long as they understand the dynamic. The dynamic. Yeah. Um, and it's very difficult for most to understand it first. Mm -hmm. It takes a while um, for them to actually understand. Okay. This is how this, this works. Is how this, works. Yeah. this is this is I'm 
barking up a wrong tree yeah. or and we have some that never understand it correct and, we and they're still our friends There's... we love them to death but they they'll never understand it correct um and again the wife enjoys one performing for her husband yeah and obviously she's getting pleasure at the same time so which i mean that's a win-win right because <laughs> then the after <clears throat> right so yeah <laughs> so it all kind of one if you're in the dynamic you the freedom the trust the conversations the options for both partners now with the stag they may watch sometimes they may participate sometimes a cockold usually won't participate right. they're there to watch and be forced to watch most of the time mm -hmm. um but with a stag you'll find threesomes to be more common right. than in the cockle world right um so it gives options at that point in time but it gives the wife options as well to say even just to say okay i'm going out to the bar and to get a drink tonight right and if the husband doesn't want to go okay, she just got dressed up and went out looking hot as hell. Right. And she knows now that when she comes home, the husband's still going to be up. Yeah. It's not. And it's not even always a play aspect. Right. Sometimes it's just, okay, this is what you're going to wear. You're not going to wear a panties. You're going to wear the highest heels you've got. You're going to be at the bar and you're going to, you know, do whatever. And, you know, tell you about it and text you throughout or, you know, for, for you, it's a very mental thing Correct. and and for most bags right right it's yeah very, it's very a very mental, mental turn on mm -hmm. the physical turn on obviously is there yeah but the mental turn absolutely. on can be absolutely crazy um and that's where text messages can come in or photos come in or mm -hmm. the watching comes in right um but it's more than just what i mean you can watch porn you can watch porn if you wanted to. Yeah. But it's completely different. Yeah, you can actually watch it right now for free because Pornhub is every Pornhub is free and everybody loves free. <laughs> Correct. So you can watch porn, but the <laughs> turn on is completely different when you're watching your wife because it doesn't just bring in the physical aspect; it brings in the physical, the mental, the emotional the loving, the caring aspects, it brings in all of it in one. It may sound weird for those not in the dynamic, yeah. but it brings in so many different turn-ons that at that point in time, now we've gotten to your favorite part. The reclaim. <laughs> the reclaim. <laughs> the reclaim. <laughs> You'll hear this term used in this dynamic a lot. Yeah. Um, Probably like a big favorite word on the female. It probably is. <laughs> the reclaim after. Yeah. Um, so there's these memes going around the Facebook all the time of which sex is better, drunk sex, high sex, makeup sex. sex. If you ask any <laughs> hot wife out there, their answer is going to be the reclaim, reclaim sex. sex. Um, <laughs> drunk and reclaim sex? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, the reclaim sex, you'll hear that term yeah. in this dynamic a lot more than you will hear in any other dynamic throughout the lifestyle. Um, because it has a whole different meaning. It has a whole different meaning yeah. for, because you're literally either not there with the wife playing yeah. or you're not participating. Right. Um, Jay, you're never interrupting with a question. So ask away, or that's college. You guys fuck me up. Um, <laughs> college has got Jay's picture and yeah, what, whatever. <laughs> so the reclaim you'll hear. And most of the time, if you're on Zoom, you'll understand the smile that <laughs> Kim just had when she says the reclaim sex. <laughs> just, at the, just at the same time, reclaim sex is the best. Drunken me reclaim sex is my biggest competition. <laughs> So, yes, so the reclaimed sex then comes in. Yeah. Now, the reclaimed sex doesn't just have to come in after you play either. Oh, God, no. If you just went out by yourself, then there's the chance that you may have played. You're coming home to reclaim. Yeah. Um, now, it's not going to be the same as if you had played, no. but it's, it's still, still pretty high. Still there. Yeah, it's still pretty high. Um, so, let me get to 
college's question because Jay says it's a great question, but I guess she has to say that. Maybe now Jay doesn't know, have to Jay say that. Jay would have Jay would have told him it was a stupid question if it was a stupid question. <laughs> All right, so I have a question. I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm curious: is there a term or a name? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just lost it because it just went up. There we go. <clears throat> is there a name for when roles are reversed in a stag vixen couple situation where the women likes woman likes to watch her husband or significant other and get the same joy like a stag would? So there is, but there's really not a divided category. It's right. basically just one category, and it falls under the cockledress right. ter term. But no humiliation. But it doesn't necessarily mean there's humiliation involved. Right. Um, there's really not. And like I said, the stag vixen dynamic is relatively new. So obviously, as the dynamics well. as the dynamics evolve, which we always talk about. I don't want to say categories, but more categories of dynamics come up. Right. Um, so you will have your cuckoldress, who are the females who like to watch their males mm -hmm. in the same way a stag likes to watch his female. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there is. And we will have a topic night about just that. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I know a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I know, a, I know a lot of them and talk to a lot of them. And some of them are my, I, I, the females that I talk to the most. But we yeah, also are on actually. the same page yes. with, we know there's nothing else going to happen. Yeah, ever. Absolutely. Ever. Um, or if there is, it has been predetermined for years. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there, yes, there is. And I'm have five four or five of them off the top of my head that easily. yes yeah that we will have on um we'll actually i'll try to get them on maybe next wednesday it might be a little difficult for some of them because of kids yeah especially two of them um two that i think would be able to give a ton of ton from the female side yeah so i'll touch base with them tomorrow and i will definitely have we will definitely have a topic conversation about that specific dynamic. Yeah. Um, even though it does correlate with this one, if there are slight variances. There's so a lot of variances. Yes, there's a slight variance. Yeah. So <clears throat> great question though, college. Yeah. I agree with Jay on that one. Yeah. Great college. That was, great question, that was college. A good question. You do you, boo. Oh, it took me 57 what? minutes Jeez. to get the you do you, boo. Good job. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so and to the female that likes to watch the cuckolders, you do, you boo. Trust yeah, me, I understand. You do, you boo. <laughs> There's a whole two different terms, two different voice reflections there. <laughs> oh, whole different voice <clears throat> reflection there. So now on the opposite end of things, <laughs> the confusion like we've talked about from other people in the lifestyle, yeah. from single guys to other couples to single females, is crazy. So if somebody tells you they're in this dynamic, just learn more. Yeah. Um, ask questions because and you'll know. You ask questions. As soon as you ask them first couple questions, you're gonna know. Yes, and don't be afraid to ask questions because they've heard those questions a million times. Yeah. You're not asking a stupid question. No, not at all. Um, I've asked those questions a million times. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other thing with this is we live at twenty four seven. Yeah. We hardly live the play, because of yeah, single. Trying to find the right single guys, couples who would need to understand the dynamic, mm -hmm. and vanillas that are idiots. So we may live this twenty four seven, <laughs> but we don't live the play part twenty four seven. But it brings into what you always say is just because you can doesn't mean you do. I should get that tattooed on me. The other big <laughs> misconception is with this dynamic is they must need something more. Uh, that's a lie. In a stag mixing relationship, <laughs> they don't. They don't. Um, in a cuckold relationship, it depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, so again, it, it you, you can't clear, you can't group these all together. Right. Um, again, these are all just general dynamic 
guidelines pretty much. Mm -hmm. Again, each couple is different, has different rules, everything like that. Um, it's absolutely an addition to the relationship. And that is the quickest way for a stag vixen female to shut you down. Don't message them talking about, let me give you something your man don't. Don't just take that into account that, oh, she's allowed to sleep with me. She's going to. It's not going to happen. She's not going to talk to you without talking to her other half anyway. And for you to even approach her without having had a conversation either about or to her other half. Again, another way just to get shot down very quickly. Right, which is why vanillas are out of the question. Because most of the time they have no freaking clue. No. So you're trying to deal with a single guy in the lifestyle. Who already just doesn't have a clue. Right. Yeah. Um, so just say, it. oh, my God, say it again. Just because you can. Girl, please. Welcome to my life. Doesn't mean you will. Doesn't mean I will. <laughs> um, but a hot wife. Literally <laughs> lives by the saying of fault. you do you, boo. Oh, uh, absolutely. And it's part of where you do you, boo came from. Yeah. Because you can do whatever you want without having to look over your shoulder. Yeah. Doesn't mean you do. Right. But you can. But I can. So and that's nice. It's it's amazing to know. It's a, such a good feeling. And it comes back to the trust level that, damn. I can flirt, which I love right. to do, and never have to worry about it. Right. And it's a win-win because you love when I do it. So, mm. Right. I mean, there's nights you got just to flirt, and that's it. And, and that's what I'm there to do. It's what you're there to do yeah. because you know we're going to go home and have to be crazy. Yep. So that's how your mindset is that going into that night, even if it's a vanilla bar, I'm mm -hmm. going to go flirt with these people tonight just because yep. it's going to do one thing. And... If it leads to another thing, great, but I know it's going to do one thing. Okay. So, so it's definitely an addition. Um, picky because it's not needed. Um, yeah. The, so the extra people need to be respectful. They need to be a certain type of person for the hot wife. Right. They need to understand their role and the rules of the couple. So they definitely need to understand their role. Right. They come third. They need to be respectful to both people. They need to be able to have a conversation with yeah. both people. They can't not include the male, especially in a stag relationship, not at all. because it's not going to happen. Right. You're trying to talk to a dominant male, and you're going to just bang your head against the wall. Right. Um, so, yeah, so there's a lot that goes into this topic. I thought it was a good dynamic to start with, one that we could talk about for like, hours. Um, I told you tonight that I wanted to keep it short. Mm -hmm. um, that work out for us? We're over an hour already. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to listener questions. Um, so just to review everything, we touched on the hot wife dynamic tonight, which is the first of a series of nights where we'll touch on different dynamics in the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, next week, we'll touch on a different dynamic. We'll have some people in those dynamics because again, we can talk on hours for this dynamic, but we once we get into other dynamics, yeah. we can talk about certain things just because of our, our experiences, experiences yeah. and lifestyle conversations. Mm -hmm. But it, um, but our our it's knowledge nice to hear from people that are actually in that dynamic. In that, in that yeah, dynamic. So, absolutely. Um, but like they said, I will touch out to the cuckoldresses that I know. Yeah, um, I think that's going to be tomorrow. a really good conversation. Holy shit. Can you imagine those three together on fucking one fucking podcast? You're wow. not getting no say-so in that wow. conversation. <laughs> I have to remind them I run this shit. <laughs> yeah, let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> um, yeah, this should be fun. But we're definitely going to set that up because it'll probably entertain me for a good hour and a half for sure. Um, okay. All I'll be saying going, mm. <laughs> and I'll be able to you be like, what do you mean you don't play? What do you, what do you mean you're, what, what? <laughs> How does this work on your end? Pretty well. So <laughs> before we get to the listener questions, make sure you check out the website at theupsidedownpineapple.net. Check out all of our partners, which are Cassidy. Click on Cassidy, get a free 90-day membership. Everybody loves free. Click on Shimmer's link and. Oh, my God. And just get so much. Get your life shimmerified. So they have awesome stuff. 
Last weekend, we had the WYLD Glow Party. Again, great job, Doug. Oh Almost God, 80 so people. Much fun. This weekend, we have a full slam packed weekend. Yeah. Friday night, we start off with the Pour Some Sugar on Me 80s Rock and Roll theme party, right? band prizes, and a whole bunch more. Yeah. Saturday night, Shimmer's Boutique is in Shimmer's the house. In the house. Both start at 8 o'clock, both are on Zoom. <clears throat> we will be Maybe rocking so a crazy weekend of Absolutely. virtual lifestyle interaction. Virtual lifestyle interaction. People are craving it. So fuck a social distance. Yeah, man. I know. Everybody keeps telling me. <laughs> um, I'm doing what I can. I can't really do anything else more than I'm doing. So you zoom do it you, is. Boo. I do. I do. <laughs> you run this. I shit. do. I run this <laughs> shit. Um. So we had two questions come in yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, that's for you, girl. Where are you at? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had two questions come in yesterday. So the first one comes from Philly, and because it was from Philly. Oh, I, you just took that question because, because it, it was, was from, from Philly. Philly. <laughs> um, just because Philly's uh, tattooed all over my body. It doesn't mean anything. But oh, they, may have, <laughs> they may have um, had a little in being from Philly. Really? So, yes. Okay. So I want to hear. Do you think after all of this is over, the lifestyle will change? So I think society is going to change. The lifestyle itself, because of communications, safety precautions, and things like that. I mean, the lifestyle is shut down. Yeah. People do not even get together right now because yeah. of the safety that they are taking. Mm -hmm. If you talk to lifestyle people they're not out at the no, stores taking it very seven times a day absolutely um, and i not. love that yes i hate are. this but i love that yes um comparably to vanilla people that we know who are at the stores just because they need to go do something hanging out because they need idiots. something to do right idiots and believe me nobody hates this more than us right idiots you know? stay home yeah. um so do i think it will change i think i think society is going to change so yeah. obviously people are going to change in some way, do I think the lifestyle overall is going to change? Not necessarily. I mean, it's um, a growing experience. Right. And it's people are going to change personally. I mean, yeah. nobody's had this much time to sit and think in your life. Your life. So yeah. you've had, you've personally probably changed over this. Right. So people are going to change, obviously. Yeah. So do I think the lifestyle itself will change? No. Because I think the precautions and the safety and the conversations that people already had in the lifestyle will continue to carry over. You're not going to have any major differences in that aspect, in my opinion. Now, the first weekend, people from the lifestyle are allowed out. Fuck Holy ass shit. Wild. Fuck <laughs> I, ass wild. I always say you're not going to walk into one big orgy. However, that weekend, you're going to walk into a lot of big orgies. <laughs> um, yeah. In my opinion, um, and it's <laughs> going to be a blast. Um, just our opinion. Um, oh hashtag God, not, an accident. not an accident. Hashtag not an accident. We are not going to sleep for days. <laughs> yeah, I know. I um, can't wait. I know you can't. I know, right? Stop rubbing your forehead. Uh, I know. I can't wait either. Trust me. <sighs> I had a conversation today that even me, who likes to be home, is over this shit. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I had a conversation with another person who likes to be home. Where is he? He's, There's only one other person that would have that conversation with right you. Oh, no. He's quarantined like everybody else. Oh, oh that's in so, that quarantine, quarantine. No, no, he's not okay. quarantine, quarantine. I know, um, I miss his face. So, yeah, so it, it, we did talk and we both were like, oh, we're over this shit. Yeah. Um, facts. And we both just like to be home and not do anything. But, facts. So, do I think it'll change? Not. Not in a negative Not way. Not in a negative way. No, no I don't. I don't think way. it's going to change in a negative way. I think it's and given people a lot of time <laughs> to really realize what's important, you know, be it the lifestyle or be it their relationship. And I think it's given a lot of people a chance to actually, um, people have gotten into it for the wrong reason. Now you're at home with your partner. There is no, oh, let's go find somebody to play because we don't want to play together. You're, there's going to be changes and decisions, and I think it's going to be a growing experience. I don't think it's going to be a negative thing at all. No, neither do I. Um, second question. Where's from it from? New York. <gasps> oh, yay! We are stuck in the house for obvious reasons. We've been having more conversations about the lifestyle, trying new things verbally and e? role-playing. My husband brought up this thing 
and we gave it a try. It's very new to us where he calls me different names that before <laughs> I thought were derogatory. Oh, I love this question. <clears throat> but it turns us both on. For instance, when he calls me a whore. But before this, that was a bad term. Is this normal? So uh, you want to answer this one or no? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. That is so normal. That is so, stop rubbing your forehead. I'm, not, I'm just going <laughs> to answer. <laughs> so females in general, before you got involved in the lifestyle. Hold on a second. Everybody has their own term. Yeah. That, that they, they don't make, like. That they don't like. Yeah. That they that they don't like. <clears throat> so if it is whore, whore it might not be this person's. Slut, right. Tramp. It might not be um, this person's. So. There's, Everybody there's so has many. that yes. word. And I wasn't going to generalize no, just yes. that word. Yes. Um, I wanted to clarify that. We are, I don't want to say trained, but we that's how we are brought up. Whether it be from our parents or our family or our exes or our friends or our school or wherever we're around. Whore is a bad word. Slut is a bad word. Um, daddy and little girl, that makes you a crazed person or a pervert. But when you get into your dynamic and your lifestyle, you find out about your partner and what turns you on and what turns him on by trying different things and seeing how you feel about it. It's a totally, totally different meaning when it comes into that. Is it normal to be like, mm, I'm not going to be liking you calling me a whore? Absolutely. But then when he does it and you're like, holy fuck, I'm your whore? Yes. Then that's a good thing because it's turning you both on anything that you both love and appreciate and that works for you do it who cares what anybody else you thinks? do you boo you do you boo absolutely um, like our best friends the first time we met well not the first time we met them but the first time that they meet most people yes he introduces her as this is my hoe this is my hoe <laughs> this Here's is my, my hoe. face what this is my hoe <laughs> so yeah every couple is different Every couple's different. If it turns you both on and you both enjoy it, you're in your bedroom. Do whatever the fuck you want. You Absolute, do you, boo. Absolute fucking. Um, get rid of the, the baggage. The baggage the that you had of? in your head prior. Yeah. Because if you're enjoying yourself, fuck it. That's all that matters is you That's and your partner. That's all that matters. So who the hell gives a shit what freaking Three Doors Down says to you? Yeah. Um. Not the band, the guy three doors down, or the female, or the Asian next door, right? Or <laughs> the mean old lady, <laughs> or the sixty-year-old white guy on our other side. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever yeah. they say to you it's doesn't. What does it for you? Right. It's what does it for you and your partner? And if that's your thing, that's your thing. Who and cares what anybody else thinks? If that's your term, that's your term. Right. It might not be somebody else's term. Right. But if that's your term. Let it be your term. Yeah. That's fine. It's all about you two and the pleasure between you two, the fun between you two, yep. the conversations, which they're obviously having. Right. Um, and that's important. Right. We're having that conversation. You tried something new. Mm -hmm. That's huge. That's huge to just try it. What are you going to say? Worst case? Mm, I don't like that. We're not going to do that. Okay. Best case is what happened. And they found out they both really, really like it. Absolutely. And, and then what? what? Good sex. Good there sex. It is. Not, re <laughs> not reclaim sex, but good sex. I said good sex. Good I didn't sex. say oh, <laughs> reclaim sex. <laughs> so again, two really, really good questions. Yeah. I, love I actually them had both. a lot of questions to go through this time um, because everybody's stuck at home. So they feel the need to email me. Do we have um, one more? No, we don't tonight. Oh. I only wrote down two. Okay. So, plus we're at an hour and 15 minutes now. And someone is sleepy time? Yeah. Somebody's yeah. a little tired tonight. That's okay. Um, but we're social, work hard. It's hey, good. we're social distancing out of work the last three days. Yeah. I'm off the next two, though. So, yeah. I'm actually off the next four. So You're off the next um, two together. Yeah. So, but <laughs> plus we have a crazy week. We, we do. I need, we need to save our voices for the weekend because we have back-to-back -back virtual parties. Um, we have so much alcohol to drink. We have a lot to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so next week we'll touch on another different dynamic. Yes. We'll have people from that dynamic either in studio with us from the Upside Down Pineapple Bar mm -hmm. or calling in or things like that. That would be fabulous. Um, yeah. 
we got to stick to social distancing guidelines. I know. So I know. We'll see how it is. I got enough cars in my driveway as it is. I don't need people telling me to break up a party that's not even happening. Right. <laughs> I mean, if they're going to break up the party, I'd actually prefer it to be an actual party, but that's not going to happen right now. So <laughs> we're going to stick with the virtual so parties for Zoom now. Parties it so is. Zoom parties it is. Hopefully you're having a blast. So just to recap everything tonight, we touched on the hot wife dynamic. Last weekend, we had the awesome WYLD Glow Party, close to 80 people. Yeah. This weekend, Friday night, we have the Pour Some Sugar on Me 80s Rock and Roll theme party, 8 o'clock on Zoom. And Saturday, we have the Shimmers. They're in the house with the Zoom party on Saturday night. Two nights, we're going to have an absolute blast. Pretty sure one of them will get to 100 people. Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of them is going to get close to 100. I think that's the goal, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the one of them is close. Going to, I think one of them is going to hit 100 or 90s this yeah. week. We almost hit 80 last week. I'm pretty that sure awesome. this that week we're going to hit freaking 80. Awesome. If I have to buy a bigger TV for this, it's going to be. And Kim has been trying to actually get me to buy a bigger TV for this. For this. Um, I think that if we can get to 100 people at one of these parties, I can justify it. I'm just saying. Yeah, so Kim wants me to get a bigger TV, but we don't even watch TV. We don't watch so TV. I've turned it down so far. I didn't we see a need TV. for a bigger TV. Well, there's not. Um, as I redo our whole backyard. Four parties for all of you amazing people when we're not social Holy distancing. Hell. Um, we're yeah. going to have a hell of a party. We're going to have a hell of a lot of things in this backyard to party with, too. I heard. I heard. We're having a swinger wedding this summer. Uh, we are having a swinger wedding I in the backyard it. this week. This yeah. year. I also heard that... Um, that swinger wedding, uh, after this weekend, we'll have axe throwing at it. <laughs> I didn't heard that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to have a lot of stuff to do in this backyard. <laughs> so, yes, we're hosting a swinger wedding this summer. Yeah. Uh, as soon as we're allowed to non-social distance. But make sure you join us this weekend on Zoom. Please do. Both you guys nights. don't have anything else to do. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. kind of awesome. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Um, we're gonna give out tons of stuff both nights. We have great prizes all weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> Make sure you check out the website at the upside down pineapple. Net. Click on the Cassidy link, get a free 90 day membership. Everybody loves free. Click on the shimmers link. Oh my god, click on the shimmers link. Do you know all the fabulous deals going on for when we are allowed to be in public again? Holy hell. Yes. And I'm just saying, we are social distancing girls. It is buy one, get one free choice until Saturday. Okay. I'm just saying. Toys are fun. Toys, toys are fun. Um, yeah, you're listening to the Upside Down Pineapple Podcast where you get to taste the lifestyle. The Upside Down Pineapples are all about the lifestyle, educating, encouraging, and enhancing the entire lifestyle experience, not just the hookup. Who are we? We are your hosts, Phil and, and Kim. Kim. <laughs> can say that again. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to drop it one more time. One more time? One more time. So yesterday, she couldn't. they couldn't be here or call in so yeah. i'm gonna decide how long i should make her wait to listen to the podcast <laughs> be nice to her. maybe i'll upload this one quicker um actually i will upload this one quicker because we have two uh, zoom yeah parties. we have to upload we have, this one we quicker. have two zoom parties this weekend so she's getting a it'll twofer be, what it'll oh be my up, god it's gonna be it'll so be bad uploaded in. yeah yeah two zoom parties crazy weekend crazy i mean weekend. it's pretty bad when you have to say your crazy weekend is two zoom parties Let but go. that's the life that we're in right now let it go <clears throat> so with that being said one more time make sure you check out the website the upside down pineapple.net and remember <laughs> make sure you check i'm tired make sure you check out the website at the upside down pineapple Dot net. <laughs> and the next time you're in a food store grab a pineapple the next time you're in a food store grab a pineapple and flip that bitch upside down we will talk to everybody on saturday night and friday we will night. be friday night we Friday will be night. Friday night, 8 o'clock, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. We will be back next Wednesday night with the next episode of the Lifestyle and more listener questions and a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. Thanks for everybody for joining us. We love you guys. We're going to close it out one more time. So with if and when you go to the food store and if and you have to wear a mask, grab a pineapple and... Flip that bitch upside down. And, we're, and then you should probably bring it home with you because somebody's going to be back because you touched it. Yeah, just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, take a picture first and then bring it home with you. Yeah. So with that being said, we're going to end this just like we do all of our Zooms now. 
and we will talk to everybody Friday night. Take that away. When I'm proud to be an American, at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died. He gave that right to me. And I proudly stand up. Next to you and defend her still today. And there ain't no doubt I love this life. How blessed be you and your son. The years of Tennessee. We have shot and seen. We have to New York to LA. It's not every American heart bound to end away. And I'm proud to be an American, at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget when the time gave birth to me. And I'm going to stand up next to you and defend her still today. And there ain't no doubt I love this land. How blessed the USA. Proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the way you died and gave that way to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend that still today. And there ain't no doubt I love this man. We will talk to everybody Friday night, and we will talk to everybody back on the podcast next Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for joining us.